At the invitation of U.S. President Barack Obama, President Massoud Barzani of the Kurdistan region of Iraq met with top U.S. officials this past week. The five-day trip began in the Oval Office, where President Obama applauded the democratically elected Kurdistan regional government's contribution to Iraq's progress. President Barzani held meetings with lead congressmen and senior U.S. officials, including Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, Secretary of Defense Robert Gates, and Secretary of Commerce Gary Locke. The KRG president stressed the need for a continued U.S. alliance with Iraq after American troops are withdrawn. An important point was whether when there is talk about the withdrawal of the U.S. forces or troops in Iraq at the end of 2011 based on the agreement that has been signed with the federal government of Iraq, whether that means also the withdrawal of U.S. focus and attention in Iraq or it's only the withdrawal of the troops and the remaining of the U.S. engagement in Iraq. For its part, the U.S. issued statements of continued support for the Kurdish region throughout the week. Well, fortunately, it has been encouraging what I've heard from the President, the Vice President, and all the other high officials of the United States in the last three days, that the U.S. attention will continue, and also there will be a long-term relationship with Iraq and also with our region. Both Kurdish and U.S. leaders say upcoming Iraqi elections and a continuing commitment to the Iraqi constitution will be critical pieces of setting an agenda for peace, security, and long-term economic prosperity for the entire region.